bit of a nice snow here and today is another Polish video I know you think oh, another one we had one of those a few weeks back but there's two reasons why I've done another Polish video the first reason is so far it's my most successful video on my channel it has at the time of recording this 78 views which is a lot more than any other the closest one to it is the first part of the troll leveling series the world of warcraft video but the polish video seems to get more views which is always good and the second reason is um polish lithuanian latvian foods are a lot easier to get here than more of the far-flung countries like China, Japan and things. Of course I can get them in the Asia supermarket but there's only so much there as such while every supermarket seems to have a whole different range of Polish and Balkan foods. So I've been gathering these up for the last like, few weeks and I have that. So, let's go. First, we will start where we kind of what we know, which is all the goodness. And we will start with the little ones first. These are BB. BB. These seem to be just little um, crackers, little crackery type things. They don't seem to have much to them. This is what they look like, it just says BB on the top. It just says like regular bland biscuits, there's not a lot to them. By the way, all these, everything you'll see today, everything was bought in Tesco on the um, on the international aisle or the Polish section. Is it Polish section? It is a Polish section. Um yeah, they're okay. I mean, they were cheap. They were like 15p, so I didn't expect much from them. Um, there's a few things here that I can't wait to try, and I've been holding off. This is one of them. This is a cocoa sponge cake with milk cream filling. Like a... They call those little things. It's almost like another Kinder thing. It smells exactly the same. You have a maxi and then you have a something else that looks like this. It's like a it is exactly the same as a kinder. Really good. It's, uh, like chocolate sponge with milk through it and a taste of honey in there too. I can't remember the damn name of the Kinder things. Is it Maxi? No, Maxi is the, the nut one. I can't remember, but if I am able to find it, I will put a picture here. So hopefully, I can find it. Okay, that was, I didn't even say the name, Oh, it just has a sticker over it so I can't really see, um, let's try and pull the sticker off, let's see what it says in the back. Oh, 
no idea. Although what I am noticing, this was in the Polish Isle, and it says down here on the ingredients that it was produced in Italy. So, and as it's produced there in Sodom, Poland, but uh, next up are sesame seed biscuits. Aha! Oh ho! Excuse me. These are the biscuits from Alan Partridge. No, they're not. These are just little sesame seed biscuit type things. Never get into these. They smell like Chinese. <laughs> like Chinese food. Sesame seeds, it almost smells like peanuts. They are good. Like little sesame seed biscuits, but they're covered in like a... Like a peanut syrupy type thing. Sesame snacks. Oh, that makes sense. 45% of sesame seeds, they contain peanuts. So that was aha. Now let's try something different. They were snacks as you are. And then we have this little drink. It's frugo and it is ultra fruity and ultra black. I've seen this the other day and thought what is it? Doesn't have a flavor, it just says ultra fruity. So, as you can see, it is jet black in color. Uh, it says frugal black, non carbonated fruit, fruit juice drink made from concentrated fruit juices. No fruit, fruit puree. Smells like some kind of alcohol. Well, whatever the hell it is, it's fucking awesome. It's really, really, really good. And again, that's good. So I will keep this to wash down the rest. Okay, next up we will do another snack. This is a Prince Polo and it looks it's like another wafery type thing. Uh, chocolate coated wafer with cocoa cream. Doesn't sound too exciting. Ah, it's all broke. As I said, it doesn't sound too exciting and believe me it wasn't all that fantabulous, it was basically just another chocolate wafer. Product of Poland. So apologies to 
any Poles or anyone from mainland Europe who likes Prince Polo, they are just pretty boring to me. Sorry. <laughs> Next up is something different. And I'm quite interested in this because it's the first one I will have ever tried. This, oh, yeah. I thought this little thing was um, yogurt. It turns out it is thermized and homogenized soft cheese, which sounds interesting. It's a product of Poland. Ingredients: milk, cream, vanilla flavor preparation. So this should be fun. Although it smells like yogurt. No, it looks like yogurt. Because is yogurt not homogenized? This is what it looks like, just regular ah, go away like Meh. Regular yogurt. It's okay. Uh, you can definitely taste vanilla. Um, oh, I have to say, <laughs> that really is good. This stuff. I got it from Lisburn Tesco's and there's loads. So, if you live in Lisburn, go! Also, I will give a little shout out to a follower of mine. That follower, a subscriber who has been continually commenting. Now, it's always great to f get feedback from you guys. And, yeah. <laughs> it makes my day to get an email telling me there's some activity on a video, to which I go and it's a comment. It's always good when it's not a, a negative comment, like, oh, you're rubbish at this. You need to do better. This is boring. But all the comments left by a Royal Bleed, that's your shout out, um, have been very positive. They've been, yes, I like this. Can you show me this? Okay. This is good. Let me see more of this. These are great. Keep this up. You know, it's just fantastic to hear back because up until that point, I felt like I was just throwing out videos and people were watching and then just, that was the end of it. It's always nice to get some kind of feedback. I know likes and views are feedback, but it's also nice to get, you know, some textual feedback too. So that was just a little intersection. So again, a shout out to Royal Blade. I hope you like these videos and I hope you keep commenting because as I said it's fantastic so don't forget to like subscribe and comment <laughs> okay moving on from the homogenized soft cheese slash vanilla yogurt um, we will give another treat a go this is a Gretzky go free and it's another wafer based thing Again, it's just another wafery thing, so let's see what it tastes like. <clears throat> That's a thumbs up for me for a Gretzky Gofri. They are just your typical wafery thing until you get to the. You can see the little chocolate line in the middle there, and then the chocolate's really kind of thick and rich. It's really good. 
So that was a, again, Gretzky go free. So, they are good. And now we move on to the next strange thing. These are Cabanossi Sausage Rush, which is a finely minced, minced, smoked, cooked, and air dried pork and beef sausage. Produced in Poland using pork and beef from the EU. Distributed by such and such in Germany. I think these are just like regular like salami type sausages. Let's see if you can see. Cabanoche. So, let's give this a go. Oh, they smell exactly like. Um, Pepperoni. It's quite big too. Oh. If you wonder what I look up, up here, by the way, when I, I'm eating, I'm not. Uh, I have maps here, and I have pictures of my animals and me and my girlfriend behind my computer. So, I am planning a video at some point to show my gaming rig, which is just this. <laughs> it's nothing too special, but again, it was something that feedback enabled me to think of. I mean, Royal Blade, again, shout out, suggested that he wants to see a gaming rig. So I thought, okay. In that gaming rig video, I will show you all these, all my DVDs, Blu-rays, whatever else, all the maps in the back wall, and where they are and what they're about. And as well, I'll even show you that window. Ooh. And then obviously now I will show you the maps behind the computer and the pictures behind the computer. So these were strange. They smell like regular pepperoni or pepperoni type of things. And at first they taste like it. But as you work your way through, they lose a bit of flavor. Which is unfortunate. I just got lucky actually. I've had these for about two weeks in the fridge. And I'm just noticing it is used by the 16th of April, which is tomorrow. I wouldn't have fancied eating these when they were out of date. So, yay for that. Um, next, another snack, co-fresh, soft, handmade, coconut bar. I'm sure I will love this, but my girlfriend would hate it, because she hates coconut. Fluffy coconut. I mean, there's nothing else in this, it's just raw coconut. Not raw, but you know, sweet coconut. That's all the way through. Delicious. If you like coconut, that is. Um, so go for vegetarians and gluten free. So, yeah. They 
again, we're only like 30p, they're ridiculously good. Okay, so now we have four things left. I will do another snack and then I will do, well, I have three snacks and one thing that isn't a snack. So I will leave the non-snack item to the end. So, next up then is another co-fresh bag and it's a crunchy handmade peanut bar. Sweet peanut bar. Is it? That one, the crunchy peanut bar is very, it's very hard and crunchy. Like this one, the coconut bar is very chewy. They kind of go well with each other. Next up are Mr. Ups. These are Polish. And little insider secret. I got these with my um, my original Polish haul, the very very first one I done weeks ago. But these I kept all my tasting things over here in this bed behind me and these were underneath the pillow and I completely forgot about them. So whoops. these are hard candies. Oh, they smell really fucking good. All I can smell when I open the bag is cola. So there's a brown one that's cola. There's a red one that's strawberry. There is a green one that is lemon. Let's just see if there's any other ones. Cola, lemon. Oh, there's an orange one that is orange. So, I will try the cola one. Ooh. These little hard candies. Okay, well, the cola ones are quite, they're very, very strongly flavoured with cola, but what I noticed is there's something almost fizzy on the inside. It's not, um, it's not sour, it's not sweet, it's just kind of little, 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 little fizz. <laughs> Again, these are just your standard type of hard candy sweets that you could use for an airplane the whole bag was 55p and these I will say because these are from my last haul these didn't come from Tesco, these came from the Carolina shop Carolina whatever so I will put a link for the Carolina shop okay my next last snack for today is something that I've been looking forward to since I bought it. It is something called an Alibi Max. And it is a crispy bar with coconuts and caramel in milk. Chocolat. What this looks like is a coconut version of a lion bar we have in the UK. And that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes exactly like a, a coconut lion bar. Which is really freaking good. 
<clears throat> Damn. Mom will be lucky if she gets some of this. <laughs> um, I don't think my girlfriend will like it because it's coconut. But what I tend to do with all this stuff that I taste is I try to keep a little bit and then let mom taste it because I know she watches these and when I go to her house then she's like Where's, why did you not bring me this? Why did you not bring me this, this? So let's bring her a little bit so I let her taste them. But I think this next thing will probably be given to her because mom likes these type of things and I came across it uh, about a week, week and a half ago and I thought right this is definitely something I have to try it is podlaski which is chicken pate with tomatoes now, I'm not a fan of pate at all I know mum is so <sighs> I will open it here it's like a little cat food too Oh. It almost smells like, you know the Campbell's meatballs you get in a tin? It smells like you've opened a tin of those. Maybe they were chicken meatballs. <laughs> meant to spread pate. Mm. Oh shit, I have no drinks either. I'll have a little bit of this. So. I think to ward off the dirty taste of that, I'll have some more yogurt. That has been my second Polish chasing video. And I'll try not to bore everyone with the same stuff all the time. I did order a bunch of things today. Um, <coughs> two of the things are for another tasting video and one of the other things is for a challenge video and I've decided as something else on this channel that as well as Warcraft themed videos and you know whatever else uh, these tasting videos I will also start doing challenges of course I've started at YouTube a lot later than everyone else so I will be doing my own version of things that previous YouTubers have done years ago so it may seem old and dated but I thought I, I want to have a go so why not so today I went and bought a whole load of stuff I ordered stuff online it's all coming to me now I have stuff in the kitchen to start the whole challenge ball rolling. I am working on something with two guys from work <coughs> for a for another challenge. So pardon me. I must have <laughs> I must have had a lot of error while trying to get rid of this. You know <coughs> I'm not very bit burpy. Anyways, as I said, unfortunately, because I've exhausted everything I can in terms of tasting, you know, 
with Polish stores, the Asia supermarket, the Bangla Bazaar, you know, and IKEA and things like that. <coughs> the tasting side of things will slow down a little bit while the challenges start to rise up. So if you're watching this and this is probably it, um, feel free to suggest something or a store that I could try things in and I will certainly give it a visit. Um, we're very not closed minded but there's not a lot of ethnic stores here. I mean you have the old Polish store, the Asia supermarket over in South Belfast because that's where the majority of the Chinese people live here. Um, you've got Polish stores all over the place. But again, they do all of this type of thing. I've done these before. So, I will try and, because it's a gaming channel mainly, I will try and up my gaming video output. So then there should maybe, there should be more than one a week. At the minute there's a tasting video on a Monday and a Friday. And on a Warcraft video in the middle. What my plans are is to stretch the challenges out so I don't do them all and blow them all in one week. To change Monday and Friday to Warcraft days and keep Wednesday for tasting slash hand movement gestures. <laughs> tasting slash uh, challenges. And of course, if there's something that is new, I will put it up as well. Um, yeah, I realize I've went on about this for far too long, so without eating anything. So I will now say bye-bye, keep an eye out for the, the new challenge videos, and that is pretty much me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Anything you want. Bad, good, up, down. Don't unsubscribe, just keep subscribe. But <laughs> until next time, bye bye.